Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an alias command in Mac and Linux. And if you're not familiar, alias allows you to basically uh, create your own command. So when you type in something on the terminal window, it's going to execute something else. Okay. So there's you can make this very simple or pretty complicated. I'll show you both ways, and I'll show you again for uh, Mac and Linux specifically. We'll be working with Ubuntu, uh, but this will work for pretty much any Linux operating system. So let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Um, what I have here is two terminal windows open on my MacBook Pro, okay? Uh, this one on the left and the one on the right. So on the right, I'm actually going to log into an Ubuntu server via SSH. Um, if that doesn't make sense, just know now at this point that we have Ubuntu slash Linux slash Unix on the right and uh, Mac slash Unix on the left. Okay, so first we need to know what type of shell that we're working with because this is gonna dictate where we put our alias command. There's three ways I'm gonna show you how to figure out what shell you're working with. So the first one is echo, dollar sign shell, all caps. Um, and over here we can see that we're using the ZSH shell. Uh, over here we can do echo, dollar sign shell. And here we're using the bash shell. So you'll probably see one of these two. Um, other ways, if that didn't work for you for some reason, you could do echo dollar sign zero, echo dollar sign zero, get the same result, similar results, and then ps dash p. This is the third way to check uh, two dollar signs. So that shows us that we have zsh, and then ps dash p two dollar signs. Uh, again, over here on Ubuntu, we're using bash. So summary: we're using the zsh shell over here on our Mac. The local terminal right here and then over here on the right in ubuntu linux we are using the bash shell okay so for each one of these they have their own um uh, either a bash rc file or a zsh rc file and that's located in your home directory so uh here um i'm in my home directory at users tony florida if we do ls uh anything that starts with a dot these are your hidden files uh, you'll see that we have a zshrc file. If you don't have that, you can create it. Um, so that's going to be where we put our alias commands. And over here in Linux, we can do the same thing, ls dash uh, dot, and use the tab tab complete to see what those files look like. Uh, over here, we have our bash rc file because again, we're using bash over here on um, the Ubuntu operating system. So let's make our first alias command. Let's start over here on Mac and open up our zshrc file. And uh, you'll see I already have an alias in here. We'll talk about that in a second. That one's a little bit more complicated, uh, but let's just do something simple. Let's do an alias for, if I type in the word home, we're gonna take, we're gonna go, we're gonna change directories to the home directory. Okay, so if you're not familiar, this little squiggly line is uh, uh, is referencing the home directory. Okay, so we'll, I'll prove to you that this works. So the format again is alias, the command that you wanna type, and then what you wanna type, um, or what you wanna execute when you type that command. So we're just gonna go to the home directory. So we'll save that. And now, because you're still in this terminal window, if I type home, uh, nothing's gonna happen. There's two ways to activate or to make shell know that you have created that alias command. Um, the first one is to open up a new terminal window. Okay, so here I open up a new terminal window and I'm gonna go to, uh, let's go to the desktop, okay? Uh, right now we're in the desktop. If I type home in here, it executed our alias, and if we type pwd again, we'll see that we now are in our home directory. Okay, so that's always going to work. If we go up a level, right, we're in the users directory, and if we type in home, our ex our alias is going to execute, and now we are in our home directory. So, like I said, that's one way to activate um, the change to, to make the shell known about the new alias command. Again, over here, it still doesn't know about it. If you don't feel like opening a new terminal window or if you can't for whatever reason, you can source your zshrc file. So we can do source zshrc, 
hit enter, and that's gonna make Shell aware of the fact that that alias exists now. So now we can type in home, and it's gonna take us to our home directory. We were probably already in our home directory, but let's go, uh, let's go to the desktop, or yeah, CD desktop. Is there any other folder we can go in here? Uh, no. So we'll just do uh, home, and that, oops, PWD, that takes us home. Okay, I'm not gonna do the same thing over here on uh, Ubuntu, because it would be the same exact thing, but you would go into your bash RC file, uh, come down to the bottom, make an alias for something, the command that you wanna type in to do something else, go home, right? Same type of thing, you can source the file or open in a new terminal window to activate it. Okay, uh, like I said, um, if we look at over here on the left, if the, if we look at the CSHRFC file, I have another uh, alias that I already have in here. The, the command that I execute is VF, um, and then this is what happens when I execute that command. So I go into the video flow directory, and then that's the end of that command with the semicolon. Um, so I'm, I'm stringing together two commands here. So I execute this, I go to the video flow directory, and then I source activate this Python virtual environment. So two uh, commands for one alias separated by a semicolon. So right, you can see that happen. Uh, where are we at right now? We're at the users Tony Florida directory. If we type in VF, it's gonna activate that virtual environment, which you can see as indicated by here. And if we do PWD, we are now in uh, the video flow directory. So that's a more complicated example of an alias. Um, if you don't uh, want to have that alias be active anymore, you can do un alias vf. And now if I type in vf, um, it's going to say that the command's not found because shell doesn't know about that temporarily because we un aliased it. But if we open up a new terminal window and we type in vf, it's gonna know about that. So the unalias is only gonna temporarily uh, disable that alias until you start a new terminal session. Um, the last thing I wanna show you here in uh, is on the Ubuntu side, uh, because this is a default bash RC file that comes with Ubuntu. And you'll see up here that they already have some aliases uh, uh, enabled. So they have an alias for ls-laf called LL, so that's a, mo a, a more detailed version of just a regular LS, we can try that. They have LA, which is uh, an alias for LS-A, and just L for an alias for LS-CF. So let's try that, LL, LA, and L. So LL, that's what that looks like. LA, a little bit different format, and then L by itself, uh, just showing us the folders. Um, so pretty cool, right? The that's that's uh, a basic overview of alias. And the last thing I wanna point out here is that um, in Ubuntu, they kind of recommend, yeah, I guess I, I, the recommend word is uh, appropriate. They recommend that you can put your some of your aliases or all of your aliases in another file called bash aliases. So you can create a file called dot bash aliases in your home directory. And if that exists, then it's gonna go ahead and read those uh, aliases in. So that's just a way, I guess, to uh, make, maintain a clean bash RC file to separate your aliases into their own um, uh, file. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions about this. I know this is a, this can be a pretty powerful thing, aliases, if you do a lot of work on the terminal to avoid you know, repeating the same command. If you can abridge it down to a shorter uh, version via the alias, uh, then you can save yourself a lot of typing and time potentially. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.